This is a Reconstructionist Radio production. Please visit reconstructionistradio.com to download our free audiobooks. The title of this book is Don't Talk to the Police, The Ultimate American Weapon, A Common Lawyer Comments, Copyright 2010, written by Brent Allen Winters. Visit commonlawyer.com for more information. Chapter 7 Scripture on Being Slow to Speak Speak little, heard often, speak often, heard little. Study to be quiet. If a person can control his tongue, he can control his entire body. Thus men ought to be of few words, zealous of silence, and slow to speak. Such holding of the tongue is prudent. Further, Scripture balances these warnings to be of few words with two demands. The believer is to be always prepared with a cogent explanation for his Christian hope, and God's man is to always teach God's word. Yet, even with these demands, one must never cast pearls before swine, but be cagey and remain silent. Thus does the sum of evidence from Scripture demand restraint of speech, slowness to speak, and silence because each person will answer for unneeded words. In addition, Scripture lays upon the holder of information the responsibility to determine whether another has a lawful right to the information in question. A prudent man, says Solomon, conceals knowledge. Proverbs 12, 20 Only one's creator has an absolute right to one's innermost knowledge, thoughts, and desires. See the Westminster Confession of Faith, chapter 20, section 2. To insist otherwise is priestcraft and forms the foundation of the civil law's inquisitional character. Here is a list of the scripture references at the bottom of chapter 7 on being slow to speak. 1 Thessalonians 4.11 James 3.1-18 Knowing when not to speak, when to speak, and what to speak is the mark of mature man. See James 3.2 Proverbs 10.19 Ecclesiastes 5, 1 and 2 1 Timothy 4.11 Psalm 46.10 James 1.19 Proverbs 12.23 1 Peter 3.15 2 Timothy 4.2 Romans 1.15 Matthew 7.6 James 1.26 3 5 through 8, 1 Peter 3:10 and Matthew 12:36.